Nintendo Switch. Kimberly, have you heard of it? I'm familiar. Mm hmm There's one, there's one there. There's one here. But you know what these two Switches are lacking? Accessories. <laughs> Nintendo Switch accessories. The weird and wonderful kind. We're like five, six weeks into this isolation. I don't know. But we thought it was a good idea rather than ordering a bunch of non-essential things from online. Making our own things this time. Making our own Nintendo Switch accessories. And that's what we've done. I've taken a couple of uh, highly requested ideas, I might add. I requested by <sighs> whom? Highly, oh, the, everyone. If I could interest possible investors out there. Oh boy. Hey, my emails are open. <laughs> are you uh, gonna pitch these ideas to me as if you're on Shark I won't Tank need to. They'll not? pitch themselves really as soon as you see them. Oh shoot, I'm sorry. Are you ready uh, for the first accessory that I have lovingly crafted with my own hands? No, but go ahead. Okay, great. It, it's, it's pretty small. I have made. Raycons. Oh, you've made these, have you? Yes. Was there anyone else involved in the production of oh, these? Oh, maybe, maybe Raycon. <laughs> um. Now you might be. <laughs> now you might be thinking to yourself, what what use would I have for for a satisfied grip on a bungee cord? I don't blame you for thinking that. You don't have the the brilliant, innovative mind that I do. I want to take you through the building process that oh. went into creating something as intricate as this. <laughs> hey, if you're anything like me, you suffer daily from oh, just fumbling on the, dropping your switch all the time. Well, I might have a solution for you guys. All right, first thing you're gonna need your trusty uh, Satisfy grip. I'm sure you all have one already because you watch this channel. The next thing you're gonna want to find is a Wii mote, and then toss it away and keep the little dangly bit. <laughs> Then, the last thing you're gonna need is just a bit of electric, uh, elastic, that's the word. It's been a long quarantine, <laughs> forgive me. Take your little Wiimote strap. You wanna go ahead and just shove it right through here. I wanna add that this Wiimote strap is so crusty. Like, look how brown. I think all <laughs> Wiimote straps are brown. Tie it off, <laughs> then you wanna do the same thing. <laughs> just around the the back of this and then just like you would normally you slap slap that bad boy in Don't rub your eyes. You just ate spicy pizza. I didn't, don't tell him I just ate pizza okay, well, All right, some people might like to do a little bit of a shorter strap I don't like that you're holding it like you know it's gross They say that you shouldn't see how the fudge is packed and how things are made But you did just learn how I made this Hi, wait a second, amazing invention, and I can't wait to see what that pure genius, frankly, is going with that. But first, we should talk about today's sponsor, Raycon. You guys already know that I do honestly love my Raycons. Since this whole pandemic thing went down, the only working out I've been doing is going for daily walks and cleaning the house, and the Raycons are awesome for both. I throw these suckers right into my ear holes, and the quality is pretty incredible considering their size and price. I've been listening to that new Scrubs podcast on my walks, and I can still pump beats while I'm vacuuming. Raycon earbuds start at about half the price of other premium wireless earbuds on the market. That's a good deal. <laughs> I mean, if you ask me. This is their newest model, the Everyday E25s. I barely ever need to charge them as they last about six hours on their own. Plus, every time I put them away, the case that they come with acts as a charge bank. They're even noise isolating. See, if I put this other one in, I can't even hear what I'm saying anymore. It's very distracting, actually. I'm gonna take one back out. So now, all you gotta do, go to raycon.com forward slash beat-em-ups to get 15% off your order. And I mean, <laughs> This is coming from the creator of whatever this thing is. I know a good product when I see one. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the video. It's like you wouldn't even know that you're attached to it by a bungee cord. And you're just gonna drop your switch with confidence, are you? I'm gonna do what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh! Don't fear. Don't worry. I have a lot of fear right now. Because be your switch is perfectly safe. You see, it's attached with wood patent pending Wood bunch, one wunge, wood patent pending wunge. Woods wunge is a product that anyone can use, whether you're young, whether you're super old. The best part about the wunge is, while it is a practical tool to get you through day-to-day -day life with your Switch, it can also be used as a cute little game on its own, kind of mm. like a yo-yo. Oh, don't do that. You see, no. you never know when a wunge oh, is gonna no. come in handy. I'll give you one more reason why. Oh, just kidding. Wunge. 
So that was the one. Let's actually pretend that I didn't make this and we'll, uh, okay. we'll, we'll like, we'll talk about, we'll rate it like it's one of our videos. So mm. here's the one. I bought this for you to inspect. What do you make of it? Taking out of the equation that you made it. Yeah. If this shows up on your doorstep. Go on. From Wish. Yes. How much would you assume I paid for this? As someone who didn't create it. As doesn't doesn't actually know no the yeah I don't know the, the worth the work I would easily assume somewhere between fifty to uh, to seventy dollars four hundred wow <laughs> four hundred for a piece of elastic that has not been cut it's not, in any way it's not the sum and an old brown Wii Mote strap uh, adds character <laughs> what all right fine what's your great invention then Mrs it's not gonna look any better than that. No, I will, of course not. How could it? So streamlined, so elegant. I would like to preface this design by saying that this idea was sprung on me last night. Yeah, I actually was as I was falling asleep. Yep. You came to bed and woke me up and I- No! I opened- Yes. Nay. Yeah, well, not intentionally. You just walked in the room. We have really creaky floors. So you walked in the room, it was like- <laughs> And it woke me up and I looked at you and I went, accessories that we make. <laughs> So, you know how we play a lot of Animal Crossing. I've, da I've, da I've dabbled in it. So, you ever just fishing or snatching some critters and you, um... Accidentally drop your switch and wish you had a one on hand all the time. Is this your pitch? <laughs> no, it's not. And you're thinking, I don't know if I caught everything for this month. Mm. Sometimes you leave your phone upstairs and you're downstairs. <laughs> what a mess. And you're lazy. Yeah. A boom. <laughs> Okay, so you printed out a couple of guys. I have, I have, and you're saying to yourself, I see your face. You're saying to yourself, well, this looks neither convenient nor portable. A boom again. Now, can you boom it all together and make a switch accessory? Well, I could, I could, see, but you know, this is just a mere pocket with nothing to attach it. No. <laughs> I hate this printer more than I hate most things. Oh my gosh, it's taking so and long. And it's probably gonna be all messed up like it is every time I try to print something. I think you broke it. That's such a bad printer. We need a new printer. Surprisingly though, this is the most beautiful printout this printer has ever produced. So now you could use some clear tape and laminate this so that it will be waterproof. I couldn't find my clear tape. Doesn't matter, anyway. Moving on. Oh, these stickers suck. <coughs> What's the first thing you're gonna do once the uh, quarantine's over? Go to a craft store. <laughs> really? I mean, go outside and see my friend. I feel like I miscalculated some measurements, but, um, sure. <laughs> Now, okay. Hang on. All right. I'm not done. Um, I attached this with some little um, Velcro bits. Mm -hmm. Any other accessory, I can attach it. Oh, like other kinds of pockets? Uh, mm, other pockets. Yeah. Other things that aren't pockets. Uh huh. I could stick a one on there if I wanted. Oh, you could stick a one. <laughs> I'll buy one right off Wish, and then. <laughs> so while you're fishing and you're going mm. looking for your bugs, you mm. can just whip out your little. Mm. Okay, it's really cute. I do like that uh -huh. idea. Now, it's... had I remembered to make a flower guide, that would have been helpful. It's not too late. It's never too late. Always too late. All right. I feel like this next thing could be even better than my first thing. I have no doubt that it will be. I don't like that you're not saying anything. I was waiting for the audience response. This is how I made it. <laughs> you want to find one of these. Next, you want to go ahead and find your ring fit and take the leg strap. Then you want to take the chug jug. I think this was from the first one of these videos we ever did, Kim. Then I am going to, and by the way, I actually tested this before and it works surprisingly well. The little lip here of this thing, you want to go ahead and slot that under there. It actually kind of oh, just sits on its no. own. Oh, you're not, are you? <laughs> then, for added security, you want to oh, go ahead- Oh, security, I was worried, good thing. You yeah. want to go ahead and you want to grab your Joy-Con strap. This strap also fits almost too perfectly in that part. 
Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you might know where I'm going with this. Leave it here Why for now. Why does it look like a baby in a backpack? Because my Switch is my baby. I'm at the jug. The oh, accessories sorry. are also an extension of my baby. Think of this as Don't my baby's arm. left leg. You would treat the baby's left leg with as much care as you would the baby itself. Okay, all right, let's go back upstairs and uh, show off what this baby really can do. Spoiler alert. I'm gonna add this in the equation. Why? Oh, because I can. <laughs> I knew immediately what I wanted to do for one of these was take some of the weird things that we'd bought in the past and mush them together. Kimberly, correct me if I'm wrong, but every single time, every single time you have ever played your Switch, you've immediately become just dry mouth. Just, oh my gosh, if I could drink something right now, it would be heaven. But I can't because I'm playing my Switch. Correct me if I'm wrong. Thank you, Kimberly. So here we have my solution to that. We have my Joy-Cons here, obviously in this this device, this Nyko, whatever. I didn't make that. It's an average B minus product. I have made it a five star product. Once you've attached your chug jug to your device, oh. you get your drink, you throw it in your chug jug, you crack that bad boy open, you shove in a straw, any color will do, <laughs> and then slurp away, baby. But now, your side here, playing whatever you're playing on your TV. Million dollar idea. It's not the worst thing you've ever Million dollar idea. It's really not the worst thing you've ever played. I'm actually really proud of this one. What I, I would help. call it is a Thirst, th Thirst Hawker, Thirst Ker, Thirst Ker. This is the Thirst Ker, the all-in-one gaming beverage dispenser. However, if you think that's the only thing it's good for, quenching thirst at an hour of need, which is a million dollar idea in itself, I got news for you. There's one more thing it can do. Oh no. <laughs> No. It probably has unlimited uses, but here is just one more thing you can do. You can create a hunker. Now the best part about the hunker is you can steal it for freshness. So at any point during your gameplay, you can get a tasty snack. You might be thinking to yourself, all right, you just shoved a Twinkie down into a chug jug. It doesn't take more than one brain cell to know. That's gonna be kind of hard to get out without making a huge mess. So I need a utility of some kind. And I'd prefer it if it was on theme with the weird Switch video you're making. I, I got you covered. No. <laughs> you did not just bring a Twinkie spear into the equation. So at any point during your gameplay session, let's say you are playing Fortnite. <laughs> Right? Everyone does. It's the game of the century. You don't want to- you're in the middle- you're like, oh, there's like two people left in the game. At any second, you could get that big W. You could be taking home the victory royale. You don't want to be taking both hands off the controller to try and fish around for a Twinkie. You take your little Joy-Con knife, you shove it right down there into the Twinkie, and you- oh. That works surprisingly well. You take out the Twinkie- you take a what? It's great. You put it back in. And you just keep on playing. What is to stop you from just putting the Twinkie on a stick to begin with? Now, the next one. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Let's go back to when I was actually drinking Dr. Pepper out of there while I was playing. Not kind a of like. Bad, a, not a, not bad. a bad, right? Not right. a bad. Name sucked. You well, have Twinkie in your hair right now. Drink con. You don't think Ray J is going to come at you just a little bit? <laughs> drink con. Sponsored by Raycon. Clearly, what we've established here today is we don't need to be buying all these weird things off Etsy and AliExpress and everything. You should open your own Etsy store, you think? Oh, I was going to say we could just make our own from now on. If there's ever something we see and we're like, oh, that's cool, we'll just make it ourselves because clearly oh. we're the best. I mean, sure, we don't have a 3D printer. Sure, we don't know what we're doing. Sure. That Twinkie was gross and I feel sick. <clears throat> but at the end of the day... <laughs> we done here? I hope so. <laughs> I don't want to do this again. Hey, if you did like it, hit that subscribe button. Because we are getting really close to a million and I'd love to know what that's like. That, that's got to be <laughs> you weird. You want that gold play button, don't you? Oh, oh! Hit like on this video because that really does help. Oh, I got two straws. You want a sipple? No, I do not want to Come on. I'll blow, I'll blow. Please don't do that. You're gonna get it all over this one. Oh.